In this video I'll be talking about artificial insemination and what goes into the whole process and the time periods in which things need to be done. Um, there are a lot of different things that someone needs to think about before they decide to artificially inseminate their cattle. Whether or not the farmer or producer is going to do it themselves or if they're going to have a breeder come out and do it for them. Uh, in my dad's case, he has Cody Merritt come from the American Breeder Services, and he artificially inseminates them one by one with straws that are kept in dry ice. The first process in artificial insemination is putting in seeders, which are little plastic applicators. They're, they have a hormone on them that makes the cow think that they are pregnant. When we put in the seeders, when we put in the applicators, they are also poured with a Dectamax, which keeps the flies off of them and keeps them so they don't get bit all the time. The seeders are left in for seven days until we bring them all back together, give them a shot of GnRH a it's to stimulate follicular growth in the cattle. And then 66 hours after that, we breed the cattle. Generally, we breed our cattle around the 4th of July every year. In this particular clip, you see the cow coming into the chute right before she's implanted with the seeder. That is Cody Moret. He works for American Breeder Services and he lifts the tail, implants the cedar, and in about two seconds it's done and over with. Seven days after we implant the cedars, we pull them, bringing all the cattle into heat at the same time. This makes it so Cody can breed them all at the same time. Uh, 66 hours after they are pulled is when we breed them. We run them through the chute again and they um, are then led into a trailer that uh, Cody breeds them in. He inserts the straws of semen into each cow one by one. We let them out into the pasture and a few days later we send out our cleanables. For more information on artificial insemination you can check out the supplement I will also be posting and continue to check out my blog in the upcoming weeks.